it is essential a villain has to be in the animated movie, or not? And we can see him even in the trailer. Or don't we? I'm not trying to talk about twist villain, but non-villain stories. Not every plot needs to have a bad guy. In Encanto, another Disney animated movie, we hear about one member of the family that can look like a villain to the spectator. And you possibly knew it. He was not. So I wanna know why many of us could thought he is. First, his family did not have any good words about him. As you can hear in the song, we don't talk about Bruno. But the leader in these rumors is his sister Peppa. She was singing about how he ruined her wedding with his bad prophecy that forced her to start the rain and the hurricane. Oh, I didn't mention every member of the family has a special gift, some sort of power. Every except one. That is the story I do not care about right now. While Peppa can control the weather with her emotion, Bruno sees the future. It caused him uh, most of his trouble throughout the movie. His predictions are mainly bad ones, yet the reason is still unknown. We can only guess. And Peppa guessed he did it on purpose. And told her it looked like rain because he wanted. Did he? Not just Peppa, also the scenarist of this movie wanted us to think so. Just look at what is happening in the background. The green fog came, hit the blue sky and made the atmosphere a little more creepy. Later in the song we could see even worse things than green fog, but this is from a clip we had before the movie came out online. The developers gave us the thought Bruno is the bad guy here. Then they made the sweet comeback with his big cycle eyes. I didn't know unless I found a little article but these big eyes, these big eyes, are usually reserved for female protagonists, young characters, or cute sea animal psychics. Big eyes help convey emotions and are generally used on characters we are supposed to sympathize and care about. The link to this article is under the video, by the way. It's all this is about, the game of expectations. It reminds me of Coco in a lot of ways. One man is banned from his own family, and we are meant to ask why. Is he really so bad? So evil? Meanwhile, Coco has a twist villain. Encanto is directing at relationships and understanding. There is more in this scene. It was the first time we met Bruno and saw him like he is. No scary eyes, no mischief from his side. At least rats are here and ruined the atmosphere of a drama, of finding a long-lost family member. Under all of those videos I used, you can find comments and questions about his evilness. The spectators let themselves get cloth and were asking about non-villain uncle. Some of them mentioned Disney is using green for its villains or ever working standard of animated movies to always have a bad guy. You can throw at him everything evil. Disney's reputation also added something to the fire. In the end, Bruno is so-called red herring villain. I had to google this to understand the reference. He is a distraction while something else is going on in the plot. A false clue we should care about. It is not misunderstanding the character. It was meant by Disney to take us down the road. And I'm happy they left their pattern of good and evil for once. Tia Peppa. If Bruno, if he had a vision about someone, what would it mean? For we that? don't talk about Bruno. I know. It's just hypothetically. If he saw you, Mirabel, please. We need to get ready for the Guzmans. I just want to know if it was generally positive or like less positive. It was a nightmare. Felix. Hey, she needs to know, baby. She needs to know. We don't talk about Bruno. 